The suspect, Danelle Lane, made her first appearance in court today in Boulder County. Our cameras were rolling, but Lane was kept behind glass, so we only caught a glimpse of her there in the orange. She's being held on a $2 million bond awaiting formal charges. A lot hinges on the baby girl's autopsy, which is being done tomorrow. According to the arrest affidavit, the baby was at least seven months gestational age and could have survived. Investigators say Lane's husband told police he heard the baby gasp for air. If, if, if investigators can prove the baby was alive, Lane could be charged with murder. But right now, she could be charged with attempted murder for the attack on Wilkins. The Call 7 investigators looking into Danelle Lane's background. I spoke to her friends tonight and they tell me she's extremely friendly, outgoing, loving, and they were happy when she announced she was pregnant last year. But as time went on, friends became more and more suspicious and wondered if the pregnancy was really a lie. Friends say Danelle Lane's boyfriend proposed last year after hearing the news she was pregnant. She told friends she was having a boy, creating this online registry, and even holding a baby shower in the fall of 2014. But as the November 14th due date came and went, Lane avoided questions about the baby, and friends say she'd get angry when asked for updates, even telling friends, quote, her excuse for not going to the doctor was that the doctors in Denver were too busy to get her in. So when they heard the news last night, they say, this was a shock when we heard what happened. And right away, I said, I bet you it was Danil. Here's what we know about Danil. From 2010 to 2012, she held a Colorado nurse's aid license. According to the arrest affidavit, the doctor treating the victim said the incision was well performed, and it appeared that the person responsible had researched cesarean births to achieve that level of accuracy. We also found this obituary from July 2002, when Danil Lane, known then as Danil Cruz, lost her 19-month-old son. The Pueblo County coroner says the child drowned in a small pond outside a home. The death was ruled accidental. Since this all started with a Craigslist posting, Longmont police are wondering if any other people responded to her ad. If so, they'd like to talk to you. I'm Call 7 investigator Kelly Raybon.